Hi, it's Dr. Games, and I wanted to talk you through today the process of creating a Blu-ray audio. And uh, there, it's actually, um, we, they, we have talked about different formats of things. We've talked about high-def CDs on here before, and super audio CDs, and DVD audio. And all of those first three versions I talked about all required their own special uh, equipment to listen to, etc. But the difference is with the Blu-ray audio that in actuality it only requires a regular Blu-ray player to do it. And I I tried a number of... And what are some of the advantages? Well, you can go all the way up to 192 kilohertz, right, which is four times the normal, uh, well, it's actually eight times your hearing range up to 22 kilohertz, but it's it's four times the range that you would have on a, on a DVD, on a regular DVD, and you go up to 24 bits. Now, I tried a whole bunch of different ways of doing it, and you can do it on a regular uh, Blu-ray burner uh, and produce uh, BDMV files. But what I actually found is super easy and super fast is using Audio Muxer, which is right here. This is one of the programs we're going to use, Audio Muxer 0 0.9.6.1. Uh, and it turns out that this actually will use some other programs that are installed on your system to do it. So if you do the DVD version, well, we're, we're not going to do that. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to change this to MKV, and then it opens up a whole variety of things that you can do. Um, if you have your if you have your Dolby Digital files, that's what .ac3 is, Dolby Digital. If you have those in the right format, it allows you to do all kinds of other things. All kinds of other things. In particular, we're going to change them into Blu-ray. We're going to export to Blu-ray. We're going to do an ISO, and you're going to see how that works. I just want to show you what these uh, what these files what the specs on them are though. So, so this is what uh, this is what it is. It's a uh, it's AC3, which is Dolby, uh, 48 kilohertz, 192 kilobits a second, and in my particular case, it's stereo. But you could do this on the Blu-ray. This could be 5.1. This could be 7.1. Of course, it could be mono. But I wanted to show you that 48, 192, and uh, it doesn't show on here, but this actually is 16-bit depth that I have this set to. But I, I wanted you to see that because that's very important. You've got to have things in the right format. You can also do this with a regular wave with LPCM. You can also do it with DTS if you've got, let's say you've got a, a license like I do for Minnetonka, etc., that lets you do that. Uh, but I find that the one that's, uh, if you're using Audio Muxer, the one it likes the best is the uh, the Dolby Digital. And so what we're going to do is we'll do this Mux 2, and it's super fast. So we're going to go here. You can see I've already actually already done it one time. Um, we're going to put it here. It's going to tell me to overwrite because I've already done it. Um, and there we go. And unbelievably fast so um, I'm just gonna put the I'm gonna put my little task manager up there so you can see it but it, it goes unbelievably quickly and if some of the things going on in the background are uh, that it's got MKV merge that that actually comes with audio muxer it installs it when you do that look at that it's it's already it's already done already done just while I'm talking here less than a minute to do it 
and now it's actually creating the Blu-ray folders. No kidding, creating the Blu-ray folders as we speak. Okay, now this is one of the programs that I told you about, which is image, image burn. You have to have this on your system. That's what it's saying, creating the ISO and process. To create the ISO, if I hadn't clicked ISO, it would be done already. Uh, to create the ISO though, it's saying I have an error. Why am I showing you this error? Because every time I run this, it tries to, I guess it has a parameter where it tries to tell Image Burn to use that, that other particular uh, coder. But what I'm going to do is just, you just go down to Settings, go to I.O., and just change to SPTI, click on that, and it's already done. I mean, pretty much. And it will it produces that ISO, and I'll show you that in a second. But if you think about that, we took we took thirty some songs, thirty nine songs, and it went through this process. It converted them, and it did it all lightning fast, absolutely lightning fast. So uh, I will show you the output. I think this is it. Nope. I had a 50-50 chance I got it wrong. Okay, so Blu-ray scratch. This is an MKV file, um, and then this is these are your this is your Blu-rays, your Blu-ray folders, and of course it only has one big file. Why would it need anything else? And we're gonna I'm gonna open it up for you so you can see. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. And uh, if you open up the MK version, the MKV version of it, it you could actually, if you use uh, VLC to open it up, which is another free program I love, it actually shows you the, uh, the chapter marks. Anyway, that's it. So if you want to produce a, a Blu-ray and you want to uh, do it, if you want to produce a Blu-ray audio and you want to do it in moments, the thing to do is just download Audio Muxer and you're all done. So I hopefully that was very, very helpful. Have a great day. And if you're interested in more videos of this kind, please subscribe and support the channel. Have a great day.